What is going on everyone? Happy Monday. Hope you guys were able to have a pretty enjoyable weekend and let's get right into another recap here on this Monday. So uh, it's Monday, July 10th and this is how the NASDAQ looked on the day today, right? And right around here, if you guys will see, was uh, where the market was going to open. Basically right around this general area. So if we're going to talk about how the market did overall, right? Just from looking at it, um, what you need to ask yourselves, right? What do you guys see? Would you guys think this is more of an uptrending pattern you're seeing? Where there's a lot of higher highs and higher lows? Or is this more of a downtrending pattern? Or are we seeing something along the middle of that, right? Some type of consolidation where the stock is trading sideways. So if you were to ask me personally, I would say that today looks more of a day where we were consolidating, right? Because we didn't have any clear direction upwards or downwards. The direction was pretty uh, flip-floppy today, right? We had a lot of plays you could have made money in for TQs, right? On these rallies up. And vice versa, you could have made money on the drops for SQs. So overall though, the NASDAQ wanted to trade between this resistance level near the top VWAP and the support level at the bottom VWAP, right? So... It is a little, it can be a little tricky to trade a day with consolidation because let's say there's going to be a lot of areas or there tends to be, right? Um, kind of like this where there is a lot of fake outs. The direction quickly would start falling only to shoot up again, get rejected, shoot up again, right? Make it seem like it was going to form a support here only to completely break it and then just completely shoot up again, right? It's kind of a little all over the place and... The days where the market you see tends to be um, tends to want to consolidate more. In my opinion, it's smart to kind of look at the highs and the lows of the day, right? You might want to ask yourself, kind of where is the Nasdaq moving up to at the highs of the day, and where is the resistance looking like it is, right? Because if the market approach, let's say earlier on in the day at these levels, um. Right around here when the market started to rally again later on in the day, it wasn't a big shock of maybe why uh, it, would have, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to lock in profits up here, right? Because it was a general resistance area like before and we did end up starting to get a little sell-off, right? You could, have, um, ab you could have basically walked away with a lot more money in your pocket if you had just sold at an area before uh, there was a resistance instead of trying to bag hold and let it pull back a bit, right? And vice versa, right? Let's say you were looking uh, for a play in SQs right around here and you're catching and it starts to fall more. You need to look out that in the past, right? Just looking at the one day, one minute, there has been a lot of support around this general area, right? So that's why hopefully if a lot of people managed to write this play down, they would have looked to offload the majority or cut their entire position on SQs here. In case something like this did happen, where we got another confirmation of the support level, and the Nasdaq ended up changing direction and absolutely rallying. So anyone that didn't lock in the profits here for SQs would have got absolutely wrecked, right? Because they would have got caught in this reversal. So that's why it's important to uh, pay attention to the highs and lows of the day and try to uh, trade basically between that pattern. And I just want to quickly cover how I did, right? So... Today, as far as day trading goes, I was up $27 on TQs and I was up $4 on SQs. So just over $30, not the best day at all. And I had 26 orders. Here is all of them. Just to remind you guys, we were down $420, $420 on a day. That's because of uh, our swing trade on Tesla, right? Uh, day trading wise, I didn't trade Tesla today. Just to let you guys know about that. But... Yeah, that's why you'll see it's a green thumbnail as far as day trading goes, but our account was red. Um, but yeah, I just want to cover how I started to approach today. So right um, when the market was opening up here, I saw that leading into the market open, it, the, the NASDAQ was doing a good job of trending up, right? Starting to uptrend. It was using this blue EMA line here as a support, and it was forming these nice higher highs and higher lows, right? And on top of that, I was just looking out for that because when the market opened up, we started to get a support here and I saw it just wanted to keep validating this basically uptrending pattern off this green SMA line here. So I decided to um, get in initially in TQs and as it started to go, 
I believe I ended up just selling before I averaged up because yeah I, I did average up one time actually but basically it's because the, it, there was such a big push up towards the top VWAP that I thought there would be some sign of resistance right because we had such a big gap up and the market just opened up it does tend to kind of be flip floppy so I locked it in and eventually I ended up taking a loss because as you see I decided to get in again with this uptrending pattern and ultimately it broke the pattern it didn't want to hold above the blue EMA line anymore and I decided to walk away right and I'm glad I did because a previous version of myself would definitely have been bag holding thinking there could be another leg up but it's better in my opinion to play it safe and cut it up here once the pattern is broken right of this blue EMA line here acting as a support because it's better to cut it and if the stock let's say does end up coming back up then you can always get back in rather than uh, always be hopeful it's gonna make another leg up and continue to just hold and hold this whole way down right that's not good so I decided to cut it and I decided to start focusing on SQs right if you guys will notice once I saw direction start to change right I saw that the, the pattern no longer wanted to hold and once I saw market really start breaking below the green SMA line even and breaking that pattern that it was trying to hold earlier that's when I decided to go with SUs because it looked like it was going to start to change direction and that's what I did but unfortunately if you guys will notice I was only at five dollars right definitely could have capitalized on it a lot better but I never got the chance to average in and my biggest trade of the day I just want to cover was basically right around here it was this critical area and it's when I started to get into TQs again there was only one trade today where I was fully averaged in if you guys will see and that was at 707 so I bought in at 702 originally and the reason why here's a timestamp for you guys to see 702 is right around here and the reason why I bought into TQs again was because I saw this pattern this downtrending pattern was also no longer trying to validate itself right because the market was no longer trying to use this blue EMA line here as a resistance now right rather than a support every time it would approach it it would act as a resistance and get rejected and once I saw that no longer happened here again right we were able to break above it pretty strongly that was basically my indication that we could start seeing a change of direction because uh, the, the pattern right for SQs as it was uptrending is no longer being validated and it's looking like it wants to switch again so I got into TQs and I fully sent my position at 707 right right around here once I saw the market push up nicely got rejected a bit and wanted to bounce again and confirm a, a bounce off of this blue EMA line here to start basically acting like it wants to uptrend again like I just said uh, 707 is right around here I sent it fully and if I had just stuck to my plan and hold and held it right um, only to sell basically right around these highs I could have definitely done nicely on the day right that's a 0.34% move but the ETFs were trading our triple average that so would have been around three times that so that would have been around 0.99% right and that's our goal right basically right there in one trade one percent for the day and I could have cut it here and that did end up happening but unfortunately I ended up cutting the trade here because as it started to push up nicely I saw that we wanted to start forming a resistance somewhat and I just wanted to play it safe but um, in my opinion I should really let my winners run and let my trade play out just as I thought it would have because I ended up uh, locking in the majority it ended up coming back down and as it went I never got fully back in because basically just out of fear right my good setup I had that I was already in the stock with I sold and then this was basically a new trade and I didn't have the best setup so I never felt fully comfortable averaging in when in reality I should have let my trade play out and I could have been fully in uh, with a trade that would have put me done on the day right if I had sold up here I would have ended today up closer to my goal around 70 to 80 dollars because I was red on the day around 20 dollars beforehand but as you guys can see because I cut it early I ended up only being in with a quarter maybe half and because of that I only ended the day up uh, just over 30 dollars because I did take a red trade one last one on um, TQs I tried to buy in, uh, in one more time at 730 
basically right around here. I thought maybe we could see another leg up here, but it ended up selling off obviously. So yeah, that's how my day went. It was a bit of a longer video, but just wanted to talk about how important it is to look at direction, right? Look at the overall highs and lows of the day. And on top of that, make sure where uh, you're buying into is really validating signs of an uptrend, right? And showing signs of growth. So thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot that you guys will tune back in. I hope to uh, see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.